now position vector and displacement that we have to discuss okay see suppose as shown in the figure we consider any particle which one is moving on the curved path shown in the figure with black curve okay so here we locate the position of the particle at two instant t1 and t2 at two different positions p and q respectively with position vectors r and r dash and then with the help of those position vectors we discussed the displacement vector that is p to q and that is represented by delta r okay represented by delta r okay now delta r that is the displacement of the particle in time interval delta t that is t2 minus t1 now we have to think about average velocity so as per definition we know this thing average velocity that is displacement upon time interval so average velocity that is displacement is delta r and time interval that is delta t now delta r we derived here that is delta x i caret plus delta y j caret upon delta t we can write so average velocity that is now delta x by delta t i caret plus delta y by delta t j caret so here delta x by delta t that we can write vx so this one is average of the x component of velocity and delta y by delta t that we can write vy that is average of y component of the velocity so average velocity in component form that is vx i caret plus vy j caret this is average velocity but now suppose we want instantaneous velocity then instantaneous velocity v that is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 delta r upon delta t so we can represent this one as dr by dt dr by dt that is the differentiation of r with respect to time t now see let's derive equation for velocity instantaneous velocity in component form now v that is limit delta t tends to zero delta r by delta t so limit delta t tends to zero delta r that is delta x i caret plus delta y j caret upon delta t so limit delta t tends to zero delta x upon delta t i caret plus limit delta t tends to zero delta y by delta t j caret means this one is simplified one okay then after this limit delta t tends to zero delta x by delta t i caret that is dx by dt i caret this limit delta t tends to zero delta y by delta t that is dy by dt j caret so we can write instantaneous velocity v that is this one is vx so we can say that is the x component of velocity vx i caret plus dy by dt that is vy that is y component of velocity so vy j caret 
vx is dx by dt that is x component of velocity vy that is dy by dt y component of velocity now magnitude of v that is v equal to under root vx square plus and now the direction of resultant velocity that we can give with the help of its components so theta equal to 10 inverse vy by vx clear and here also say from this particular graph easily you can understand the instantaneous velocity at any point that will be in the tangential direction to that point on the curve see suppose first we think about the position of the particle p and q here at time t and t triple dash respectively then your displacement vector will be delta r triple dash but see here displacement vector is in the direction p to q but particle is not moving directly from p to q right so you are not getting actual path so when you calculate the velocity that will not be also the actual velocity that will be average one but now if we take time interval smaller one so we consider any other position r at time t double dash then you will get the displacement vector delta r double dash then again take the smaller time interval so at a t dash suppose you take the position s then delta r dash that is the displacement vector then you can observe this thing as you take the time interval smaller and smaller smaller and smaller your displacement vector is leaning towards the actual path so for infinitesimal small time interval here very close to p neighboring position of p when we consider for infinitesimal small time interval and then if we prepare the vector passing through those two points then that will be tangential at point p so we can say this thing the velocity of particle on the curved path that will be tangential at any position clear to all of you any doubt in this one